Hold on. There we go. There we go. Hey, everybody. How's it going? Uh, I'm just doing a little live video here on YouTube. Uh, I thought uh, I'd give it a go. I don't do YouTube live very much here. Uh, so I thought I'd hang out with you guys live for a little bit. So uh, if anyone wants to jump on and uh, let me know, um, you know, if you're here, where you're from, what's up? I have my uh, chat messages open. Hey, how's it going? Uh, I don't know how to pronounce your name. Is it Dowd? Uh, let me know. Hey, Joseph. How's it going, everybody? Uh, so yeah, I just wanted to do a live video here. I've got a lot of people on YouTube that uh, I really want to take care of. So um, I'm live because I want to let you know, first up, uh, up front, I'm doing a webinar uh, all about uh, freelancing and how to start a freelance web development business. Who here is a web developer? Let me know by show of thumbs up or smiley faces or yes or me. Uh, let me know if you are a web developer. Go ahead and do that. Uh, in the chat there, I can see you guys chatting. So uh, let me know. Hey, everybody. How's it going? Mohammed, uh, Rusaid, everybody. Uh, good to see you here. So I'm doing a webinar uh, teaching you how to take your coding skills, uh, which I know you guys have because you're following me on YouTube and I teach all about uh, building and coding websites and PHP and uh, you know jQuery and uh, front-end development skills. So I teach those skills. That's why you're here. I want to show you how to use those skills to actually uh, book clients. Um, hey, Mark, Joseph, uh, looks like you guys are uh, good to go. You guys are here. Awesome. So yeah, um, I want to show you how to take those web development skills and then turn them into um, freelance clients because that's essentially what I did. I went to school. Uh, I started learning how to code. I started learning by myself on the side and uh, I really geeked out on it. And, uh, and then I thought, oh, maybe I can make some money make some money with these skills outside of, you know, learning. Maybe I can supplement my learning by actually booking clients. And that's how I started. That's how I started freelancing. And now that's like my thing. I freelance, I work from home. This is my home studio um, that uh, I've been able to have and afford because of freelancing. Um, so I want to show you how to use your coding skills, your web design and web development skills and turn that into a freelance business. So right up front, I want you to sign up for my totally free uh, freelancing workshop called the eight things that you must know to start a freelance business. And we're going to be covering really, really neat topics. So it's bradhussey.ca slash webinar. Go ahead and do that. And I can actually see here uh, if any of you are signing up. So let me know here if you sign up, go ahead and do that right now while we're here, bradhussey.ca slash webinar. And I can see right here uh, if any of you are signing up just to, you know, hold you accountable, make sure you're doing what I'm asking you to do. It's free. Uh, it's going to be about an hour to 90 minutes long, depending on how fun it is. Uh, and it's really, really action packed. Uh, I've done four of these in the past and they're always such a smashing hit. I have so much fun doing them. So we're going to be talking about how to start. Uh, let me see here. I'm just going to pull up the topics. So let's see, Let me move you over here. How do I start today? Um, I'm going to be talking about how you can actually start today. Uh, even if you don't have a lot of freelancing experience or no freelancing experience or clients whatsoever. So how do I start today? Uh, the fact that your client does not need a website and what they actually need instead of just a website, um, how to master something and, um, how to, well, it looks like a number of you guys are getting access denied or just, uh, one person is, um, some of my, uh, my hosting sometimes blocks IP addresses. So I might have to try and look into that you guys. So sorry if you're experiencing that, I'll do my best to try and figure that out. Um, but continuing, we're going to talk about mastering something, finding a niche. We're going to talk about booking clients and, uh, and, and what you need to do in order to book clients, how to charge more money for doing the same thing, uh, different pricing strategies. Uh, what you need, uh, an income bridge is something that I like, uh, a little term that I coined and it's how you build an income bridge to get you through those inconsistencies in your freelancing business, which is kind of what happens. Um, automate everything you possibly can as web developers, as technical, uh, people here, automation is a really, really big thing. And in freelancing, we can use automation to streamline a lot of our business so that we can actually focus on growing our business, working on our business rather than in our business. 
uh, and then we talk about kind of more of the um, uh, the reason why you want to freelance in the first place because that's I mean let's face it that's why we want to why we want to freelance for me it's freedom you know being with my family working from home here in my home studio oh my gosh I'm just breaking everything so yeah I get to work from home upstairs or uh, we're having our floors done we're putting some hardwood down so my you know father-in-law is up there like hammering away you know my kids are home my wife is home so I, I get to be at home and so that's why I, I love freelancing so I want you guys to sign up for the webinar. Uh, I know a lot of you will get a lot of value out of it. bradhussey.ca slash um, webinar. So I saw a number of you were saying that you had access denied. Um, that is, I, I'm using a uh, security firewall and it's, um, uh, you know what, here, how about this? Because you're going through, I'm, I'm using a link redirect because it's easier to type in bradhussey.ca slash webinar. Uh, but if you actually go to, uh, the end result here, the page that I'm trying to send you to is actually, uh, let's see if I can do this. Okay, it's crowdcast.io slash the letter E slash freelancing dash freedom dash the number three. I know it's a little complicated. That's why I wanted you to do bradhussey.ca slash webinar. Uh, but if any of you were able to sign up, if you can copy and paste that end URL here in the chat so that people can um, click on it and go there instead of going through my redirect, uh, then that would be greatly appreciated. So um, I don't want to take too much of your time because uh, I also have to get back to work, uh, but I want to see you guys in the webinar. I have um, that's on uh, Tuesday. I believe no, it's Wednesday, October 4th at 11 a.m. Mountain Time bradhussey.ca slash webinar. Um, actually, that link takes you to Monday, October 9th. I have two of the same ones. I'm just trying to get you guys to go to the Monday one. Uh, no problem. Vape, cool, cool. So yeah, I want to see you guys there. Uh, working always between four walls at your home is not fun. Uh, link, please. Anyone looking for a link? bradhussey.ca slash webinar. It's in the description of this live chat as well. I don't know if you can, uh, if you can, there we go, black, black ode, uh, crowdcast.io. That's the link there, the end result too. That'll take you to my uh, Monday, October 9th webinar. I'd love to see you there. We're going to be talking about freelancing, how to start a freelance business, booking clients, uh, where to start. If you don't know how to start, if you have no experience, uh, how to turn those coding skills into actual paying clients and different techniques and different things that you can use as a web developer to start, grow and run a freelance business and start, you know, making money from your craft outside of just learning or maybe looking for jobs. Maybe some of you want to work, um, you know, a normal job, but freelance on the side. That's cool. I did that for quite a while until I actually fully uh, started freelancing. Maybe some of you actually want a full-time freelance. Then that's another thing. I love teaching about that as well. That is another thing that I did myself. So I want to be able to show you that. And um, the webinar is free. Uh, I know that a number of you are starting to join up now. We're, we got uh, probably about 30 people uh, here right now. That's really cool. So bradhussey.ca slash webinar. That'll take you to my free live freelancing workshop. We're going to talk about the eight things that you need to know uh, in order to start, run, and grow a successful freelance business as a web designer, web developer, creative, technical person. Uh, so um, let, me, let me just check your check the numbers. Cool. I see that a number of you black owed uh, signed up. That's cool. Uh, I got a number of you signing up here as well. 52. That's amazing. That is, that's more like it. I'm just going to say, Hey, in the chat box here. Uh, when you pop over there, when you register, um, pop over in the chat box and uh, over here on the side and um, say, hi, let me know where you're from. Uh, and you know, just say hi. Uh, let me know, are you a web developer, you know, web designer, where are you from? Uh, what are you excited about? What are you working on right now? Just kind of let me know in the chat box there when you register for the webinar, bradhussey.ca slash webinar. Also, if you have a question, um, there's a little tab in the bottom corner here. I don't know, this is like, I'm not screen sharing, so it's, kind of, so it's down here. And if you ask a question, you can actually ask a question right in there 
And when I am live, um, I can answer the questions and, um, you know, you can see those, those questions afterwards in the replay. Uh, I saw somebody ask if my voice was gone. I don't know if you're referring to the fact that my voice sounds like it is sick. Uh, you are correct, if that is what you were wondering. Uh, yeah, I, my kids are back to school, or at least my daughter's back to school. Back to school time means everyone starts getting sick. I unfortunately uh, caught that bug a little bit, so I'm trying to nip that in the bud so that um, I could be as high energy as I usually am. So I'm trying to uh, save some of that energy so I'm a bit more reserved than I usually am than you're probably used to uh, in my videos. So um, thanks for your concern. <laughs> I appreciate it. So um, yeah, I want to see more of you sign up uh, while I got you guys here, bradhusty.ca slash webinar. Uh, yeah, uh, Daniel, you're going to get to redirected to Crowdcast. That is the platform that I use to host my webinars. Um, so don't be surprised or anything. I'm just using bradhusty.ca slash webinar as a um, redirect. So I can just quickly redirect you rather than t telling you uh, the really long, ugly URL. It's just a nice, um, just a nicer experience for you. So you're going to get taken to Crowdcast, uh, register for free. You can sign up with Twitter, Facebook, your email, I think a number of other things, um, Google Plus or Google. So go ahead and do that. I want to see you on the webinar. We got a number of people in here already just coming from this. So I really, uh, I think this is a good idea because I know that there are a number of you uh, that um, maybe aren't on my email list and don't get to hear about these webinars. So I wanna make sure that you get access to this. Uh, now, a lot of you are web developers and you're following my stuff because you wanna learn how to code and you wanna learn design and uh, the technical skills. But a big part of what I do is show people how to use those coding skills and actually kind of make an honest living from that craft. So I like to say that I teach web developers how to improve their craft and uh, book freelance clients. So you're here on YouTube because I am doing my best to help you improve your craft, which is web development or web design. But most of you are web developers. And so I want to give you that little piece of what I do in my business that helps people, uh, you know, helps web developers start to book those clients. Uh, Rusaid says, what is your first project as a freelancer, Brad? Uh, it was a chiropractor website. Um, and it was $500. This is my first paid project. Uh, they were a new, they were a new business um, out. Uh, I used to live out near Vancouver, BC, and uh, they, they were um, a new chiropractic business, and they didn't have a big budget. And I um, was out for I think drinks with like my wife's work friends. They happened to be of those work friends, and they said, Ah, yeah, we're kind of we're starting up. You know, we need a website. And, we put two and two together and I, you know, I essentially worked something out where I said, ah, I'm still building my portfolio, but I can give you, you know, a discount. Uh, we could do 500 bucks for, you know, a simple website. I could send you a quote and kind of scope and everything like that. Essentially that was my first client website and it was the hardest website I've ever built. Uh, it was only uh, built in HTML and CSS. That's all I knew at the time. Um, but it was 500 bucks and it kind of, it, I got bit by the freelancing bug uh, and I've worked on projects um a lot bigger than that since and have been able to build a freelancing business around it so i want to show you that um which uh back in language should i learn node.js or php both are great i love php i'm kind of old school like that php is solid significant node.js is great too uh, i don't want to get too much into the hows and whys and who's and what's and all that sort of stuff but uh if you have any, let me know if you guys have any freelancing questions um, I know you're coders here, and I know you really want to ask me coding questions, uh, but this isn't the great, best place for me to um, uh, give you coding answers for, <laughs> for the most part, because it's, um, uh, yeah. How many days it took you for to set up as a freelancer? Um, I, one, one day, <laughs> to, to, to be honest. I decided one day I wanted to make money from uh, freelancing, and so I, you know, I just decided that's, you know, what I want to do to make some extra cash. And you just, you put yourself out there. The reality is it probably took me a few weeks before I actually booked that $500 client, but it takes one day to start. And you as well can start in one day. You just make the decision that I want to be a freelancer and you start. Uh, Alexandros Bulko, I recognize you. Uh, what would you suggest for meeting with a potential client? Uh, could you clarify that question? I don't want to give you the wrong answer. So maybe if you can clarify the question, that'd be great. I want to take a moment here.
to ask a few of you while you're here. We've got more people to sign up for. Hey, Paul, recognize you as well. That's awesome. Um, sign up for the webinar, bradhussey.ca slash webinar. Uh, that's Monday, October 9th at 11 a.m. Mountain Time. I want to see all of you there, uh, teach you how to take those coding skills so you can book some freelancing clients. Um, which title should I use for my portfolio on my freelancing site? Um, I don't uh, suggest um, promoting what your skill is. Uh, I know that sounds weird. Um, you're a web developer, you're a WordPress developer, you're a Node.js developer, you're an iOS app developer. If you're looking to just build iOS apps and if you're looking to get hired by, a, uh, uh, by an agency or a company, then yeah, you need to market yourself as you know, an expert Vue.js developer or, you know, you, you know, a, an iPhone app developer, you know, Swift, all these other things, then yeah, if you're looking to get hired by an agency or a, a job as a freelancer, uh, the worst thing that you can do is say, you know, I am a, you know, I'm an expert HTML, CSS, WordPress developer, because your clients don't care about that. That's not solving their problem. And this is what we're going to talk about in the webinar, um, why your clients don't need websites. Uh, you are building websites and other things, but they don't need websites. And that's what I want to show you uh, and uncover a lot of that for you so you can understand the best way of serving your clients, attracting clients, and booking clients. Your skills, WordPress, Node.js, PHP, MySQL, MongoDB, whatever you want. You could throw it all at me. Um, those are tools. Just like when I am woodworking in my garage, um, I'm creating a paddle, uh, a canoe paddle. This is not a joke. I'm actually doing that. Um, but I want to create a paddle. I don't want to just use a chisel. I don't want to just use a hand plane. Those are tools. And I did need a spoke shave and a chisel and a sander and all that sort of stuff. But those don't matter. What matters is the paddle, the canoe paddle. So it's the same thing. Your client needs the canoe paddle, you know, the solution so that they can not just hold a canoe paddle so that they can actually move their canoe in the water. So do you kind of get my metaphor here? They don't need your chisel. They don't need your random orbit sander. They don't need your hammer and they don't even need your canoe paddle. They need what is the, what the canoe paddle is solving. What is the canoe paddle solving? It's allowing them to move their canoe through the water to get them to the next point. So if you can apply that to your own freelance business, they don't need HTML. They don't care. Sorry about that. I had a phone call right in the middle of that. Uh, I might have to get going, but they need, um, they need the solution to the problem. So I hope that kind of this gives you a couple ideas uh, moving forward. I really, really want to uh, answer more questions for you guys, but I should get going, get back to work. Um, but I want to see you at the webinar, bradhussey.ca slash webinar. Looks like I have a few of you in there already. That's amazing. So those of you watching the replay, uh, sorry you got to miss the live broadcast, but uh, join the webinar, bradhussey.ca slash webinar. And all these questions you guys have, add them in the webinar. Ask the question in the webinar. I will get to them uh, during the live broadcast so you can have that. Um, we can help other people. Thank you for showing up, everybody who keeps rolling in. I really appreciate you. You guys are great. I wish I could hang out a little bit more. Maybe we should do more of these. Uh, but in the meantime, bradhussey.ca slash webinar. I'll see you there. Have an awesome day.